Hello, everybody. I am here inside the ticket counter of the rail station. Yes, I am. And we are going to be working on the redstone. The redstone here actually is very, very simple. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of digging underneath the ground, but there's going to be a couple parts to this. There we go. There's going to be a couple parts to this. There's going to be a part from right over here where this chest lies currently. This is going to be the Minecraft Minecart Collection Station. This is going to go down like some three blocks, go float over, and it's going to pop up. I don't have a way to open this door right now, but it's going to pop up not really where the chest is over here. It's actually going to pop up on a button. And the button there is going to be on a dispenser, which is going to release the cart. I also got me a shulker box, courtesy of Wobbles from Nowhere. Thank you, Mr. Wobbles, for giving me a shulker box. And this is really useful because I got like 15 items in here, and it's like clogged up my system. And look, I have room for everything. This is great. So I just need like a few of these shulker boxes eventually. So I put the um, iron doors because this is exactly where the iron doors are here. This one does not have to be an iron door whatsoever. This one here is activated by a tr uh, pressure plate. And this was all done, by the way, in the last episode. And this ender chest, I think I'm going to leave right there on the floor. What I gotta do right on the other side of this wall here. What I gotta do right here on the other side of the wall is essentially put in some hoppers that are gonna essentially collect to a chest. And I guess the chest can be sitting realistically like right over here. Well, see, this is where it's gonna get kind of tricky. This is really where it's gonna get kind of tricky. Now, I'm gonna try to do this collection thing right, okay? Now, down below, let's go down below a little ways. We're gonna have to dig some holes here and just kind of show you what, there's like all sorts of good stuff down here. But down below, underneath here, is a system where we have to set this up exactly like how our other system is set up a little way over, and we're just going to have to tear up all of this, won't we? I just need to know where that door is. The door is essentially like right here, and I just have to set this up to where I have a piece of redstone going right to where this block is. In fact, I could probably get away with taking out all of this and using that just right there, like all of this right into the corner, and could probably get away with that going into the corner in some shape, some fashion, some way. Yeah, so we'll see what, what we can do with this little corner here, but essentially there's going to be a redstone line that is going to go right to this door and that will power this block. And do I even have, I don't have it conveniently on me, but I'm gonna pull at least one of them out. So let's get like one torch just so I can show you what I'm referring to. And we'll put like a couple pieces of redstone down here and then we'll stick the torch at the end and it should open the door. That's what we're gonna do with this door. We're essentially gonna power the door, but we also need the door to be powered by a clock and we also need it to be powered by an item sorter because I want this to be able to be able to sort through diamonds. Now we're all gonna come over here to my egg toss mini game and I wanna show you how I've got that set up over here in the egg toss mini game, okay? I need like a real delay system. Maybe like a, see I didn't, I, that's the only reason I didn't do that. I could totally put a repeater here, but it didn't, no. We're just not gonna do it right now. Because the repeater would totally give me the delay that I need for that part of the system. Okay, good. So we're going to need a portion of this system. Essentially what we're looking for is this block here and pretty much everything that you see right over here, we're gonna be replicating all the way including this particular block right here, which is going to be the thing that we're going to be using to sort. So we're gonna have what essentially is our current thing that's coming right out of that um, hopper, and it's gonna go down like how it is currently here, and it's gonna drop down to where I have an actual sorting system. I'll probably have to do the same thing with the iron as well, and I'll have to find a um, anvil somewhere, someplace, to name it, and then I have to get a couple diamonds, but I have a couple diamonds, so essentially I'm gonna be replicating this setup right here with it going all the way to a, a collection chest somewhere underneath the floor, and I guess I'll make a trap door or something to us just so I can get to it. So we'll see what I can do with that, and I will be back once I get most of this set up 
down on the other thing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I set up the sorting system. I'm gonna show you two things I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna throw in a pizza quartz, and I'm gonna throw in a pizza, well, why not? I'll just throw in the sign. Sign's gone and the diamond's gone. And so that's the way to get the ticketing started. You'll notice that this one's the diamond collection chest. Oh, it got stuck here, how funny. Okay, I gotta, I gotta fix that. Well, anyway, the diamond's gonna go here into the chest once I fix that little slight dilemma. And the other one here is gonna end up in the non-junk chest. Yes, sir. So this is exactly how the system is going to work. And this is just a basic storage system. I think it's because I just gotta do one more on the floor. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I figured out what happened. Apparently when you do this in a 25555 format, you're going to end up with one diamond that's going to get stuck down there. Apparently this is what's starting to happen in 1.11. So you just kind of leave that diamond stuck there and you can take your rest of your diamond and just basically toss them overboard. Kind of like, come on, there it goes. Kind of like so, it will disappear and it will now finally end up in the chest like it's supposed to. So you just have to leave one very last diamond down there. And so it's essentially 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 23. But if you stick 23 in here, it's still gonna go down to the bottom and get stuck down here. So it's just something to keep in mind. So anyway, this is the diamond collection area. And then this is the non-diamond junk. I've already showed that off. Otherwise this order works just fine. You, it's just a, my, I don't know, maybe it's a new bug. Cause I don't remember doing this in 110. I checked the egg toss. And it's also doing it at the egg toss too, so sad, okay. So now that we have our diamond collection, I'm just, I actually have to move this now because it's actually not where I want it to be. What I have to make next is the little system that you saw in the egg toss that's gonna go, I don't know, somewhere where I can easily ac access this right here somehow. Somehow, some way, I don't know, but um, I've got plenty of room back here. We'll see what we can do. It's just a matter of detecting this and then having the chest show up. So I guess the chest can just stick out maybe over here or something, right where this block is here. That might be the better place to put the chest and I'll just tear it off this one. And then actually this guy's gotta get flipped as well. Oh, little guy, come back. There it goes. I hope this works because I could just totally see this not working for me. So we'll, let's just see what happens, okay? But the detection piece needs to be done in a sense right here. And I'm afraid it's gonna get interfered by a few other things. So I'm gonna try briefly a detection right here, right in front. And if it doesn't work, I might not be able to do it right here, but I, I, I'll see. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work right there. I'm gonna have to move it over just ever so slightly. I can't go any further than this right here. So I guess I'm just gonna have to redirect the hopper is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to get more iron to build more hoppers. I do have some iron to work with and I'll just push the hopper maybe back here and just make it all back in the back area here. I think that's what I'll do. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this episode is starting to turn a little crazy on the redstone side. Um, call me an amateur redstone person, but um, check this craziness out. Okay, I'm gonna throw a diamond block, or not a diamond block, but a pizza diamond will get thrown onto one of these two hoppers. These two hoppers will either suck it into this one or into this one. If it's not a diamond block, it's gonna go over to the right and it can end up in the non-diamond junk chest, okay? Now, if it happened to be a diamond, it's going to go through this little sorting system and if it is a diamond, it'll go down one more block, realize that there's diamonds in there, pushes it over here, pushes it one more time. And what it detects here, it will detect a single piece of diamond, when, diamond which will activate this system, which activates this repeater right here, which then sends a line to this stone, which this stone does two different things, okay? One is it powers on that piece of redstone and two, it turns off this torch. When it turns off this torch, it turns off this line of redstone, which happens to turn off let the thing tick for 12, about 12 ticks, okay? This works just like the egg toss, just horribly messy over here. Um, and also, by the way, when this redstone's on, it will, de it will basically power part of this thing as well. And so as this thing loads out, this thing will pick that up and kind of power it back on. 
if it needs to and just kind of cycle the system here between the repeater and the two comparators. And by the way, once this shuts off and that diamond end, ends up in the front chest there, it will actually turn this back on. So what it's going to do is cycle once, all 12 blocks, and then cycle back again, all 12 blocks. Meanwhile, once it finishes that cycle, once blocks are in the um, far, sorry, I'm saying this wrong, but once blocks are in this far hopper here, it will power this on, which then powers this line, which goes a crazy way, a very crazy way, all the way up to this little door right here. So I'm going to show you real quick how it works. And then I'm going to show you the other half of what I'm building as well. Now check this out. Here it goes. And give it a second and the door opens. And then you just wait roughly, I don't know, 12 ish something seconds. That way it gives people the time to realize, oh, there's an open door and they walk in and the door shuts in behind them. If they didn't go through the door in time, well then screw them. They're not getting a refund. Sorry. There's no way you get your diamond back. You gotta go through the door. It's the way it goes. Okay. Now this is all of this crazy redstone that you see sitting here. It's all for that door. So all this redstone just for a door. Okay. It's just crazy. Now this side over here, check this out. This works also like the egg drop. I'm sticking pizza redstone in here. And it pushes it immediately all the way to the top one. Now to get this thing out of the top one, I've got a button up there. I'm just going to click the button. And there you go. And this is going to be for minecart, guys. This is exactly what we're going to end up using for minecart. Now what I don't have connected here yet is a line of hoppers that are coming right out of this chest right here. And that's what I've got to do next. I only have nine hoppers to work with. It just means I need to build more. Ooh. That's actually got to go down. Yeah, this is this guy's going down because it's actually going to con You know, this is not going to work with not enough space. I need a little more space to work with here. Oh god, flood, flood. We got a flood. Yeah, I forgot there's a lake back here. And by the way, the water is doing some weird stuff now. And I, I bet you if I destroy that one, it's going to do the same thing. So I'm not going to do it. I just want to kind of connect these like they're supposed to. Perfect. There it goes. Now I need to get over there. Now I need to get over there, guys. Okay, guys, I put in the hopper. I'm just going to put in the single dropper here just so you kind of understand how this works. So this essentially is going to be filled with mine carts. Actually, that's not true. This is where you return the minecart. So you're just going to stick a single minecart in here. It's going to go through all of these droppers and it's going to go all the way to the end of the line. And it's going to end up in here. And then it's going to shoot his way up to the top, which I can't even get to anymore because of all this stuff that's in my way. And now the single minecart is sitting on the top. We're going to hit the button and out goes the minecart when you need it. And so the idea is I'm just only going to fill up enough minecarts for the system to work. And I can't even get to it now because, oh God, no, no, it's stuck behind the wall. Uh, I don't really want to pay diamonds right now for the system to work, but looks like I'm going to have to use my own system to make this work. Let's jump over there. There we go. Okay, good. We got that back. Awesome. You can close now. Alakadam, close. Perfect. <laughs> I did mention the shulker box. I hope I did anyways. So, um, yeah, so the system actually is fully functional now. It's a big giant mess, but um, it, it, it works now. What I got to do now with all of the hoppers is I got to cover up all of the hoppers with the furnaces. So that way it doesn't cause a great big giant lag machine over here because this is essentially what this all will do if I leave this all open. And I could probably readjust the... Um, repeaters as well to some degree but yeah it's going to be all of these toppers here they're going to create the crazy lag but yeah the system done let me go ahead and cover it all up and cover up the um area as well up there so that way we can at least walk around a little bit and i will show you how amazing this is going to be okay guys i'm gonna show you how amazing this is going to look and i should add some extra lighting in here before monsters decide to spawn and kill us all you know they want to I could probably put some stone back here too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally done. I've made a little collection center right down here. That way I could just easily go down and pick up the diamonds I need. 
and any diamonds that are not part of that collection center will end up actually in a chest on the other side, which I guess you could say I can almost access. I just have to take out the furnace and then just be able to get to that chest right over there. Because that's going to be any junk item that just happened to get thrown in there that just didn't, didn't collect, right? Now, how this works, I'm going to have, by the way, the, the, the table and the chest here and the choker box are all going to go away. The under chest I'm going to leave there because people have diamonds in them and the bed's going to go away too. So here's how it works. Check this out. I'm going to do what it says. Ticket counter. Toss one diamond through the window. window. There it goes. And it's going to pop this door open. You got like a few seconds before the door shuts on you. And then over here it says pick up mine cards here. Push the button. It gives you one mine card and there will be pretty much enough mine card in there to hopefully last for who knows how long. But in order to keep this well stocked, we go out here, we ride on our mine cart, do whatever, wherever we go. We haven't even figured out how this is going to get there in the first place. But then we arrive, okay? We arrive. We head into this spot here, which happened to be arrivals. And I'm putting a wooden pressure plate just to shut that door because it's kind of annoying me. Um, so hopefully people will notice the sign that says, please return mine cart. Exit, please return mine cart, okay? And you just have to open this big giant chest, which it doesn't have to be this big. Open this big giant chest, stick a mine cart in there. And actually, pretty much by the time you get over here, you'll hear it. There it goes. And the mine cart's back in the system again. Now, I didn't want to have to do it as a super quiet system, but it works. Okay, it works. It's, it does what I wanted it to do. It doesn't have to be perfectly quiet. So, Yeah. It's done. The rail station is officially done. It had no trains. It had nowhere to go because there's no tracks that go anywhere at this point, especially the one in the front has no place to go either. So in a future project, I don't know when, but a future project, we're going to be working on the rail part of this. I know one part I want to have work on, have get worked on, sorry, is the part where I have the track go into a tunnel. So I want to be able to dig a hole through this hill. I don't know where this hill exactly goes, but um, let's get some food because I'm like starved here. And I can't run like I want to. But let's see, let's just see where this hill goes. I'm just gonna run to the other side. It could go to somewhere good. I'm hoping anyways, I'm really, really hoping that's where it goes. Okay, good. So it's gonna pop out like somewhere over, yeah, wow. Okay, it's really gonna pop out somewhere over here. They're going to end up probably coming out out, oh yeah, like right here. Right where the, oh cool, this is going to be nice. It's going to pop out right where Luke left off on his big giant wall here. This is going to be perfect. Yeah, this is part of Luke's wall. It's separating some district from some other district. I don't know which district it's separating from. I'll have to ask him that question. But yeah, that's where the first part of our rail line is going to go. And from there, I need to kind of sort out where we are on the map in order to figure out where I want this rail line to actually go in the end. And if I didn't say it already, if you guys liked this episode, please do like and subscribe and definitely leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm in the right place. Good. I'd love to hear from you guys and hope you liked this episode. And definitely let me know what you want me to do in future episodes. And you know what I might want to do here? I might want to put upside down staircases going up and down over this whole thing here because it just makes it look better and it wouldn't make it so clunky. Because right now it looks a little clunky. I'm also thinking of putting pressure plates for those two doors so that way when you pop in it will do the same thing. I thought about doing it here. Maybe you know what I could do with this? Stick this out just a little ways, maybe a couple blocks out and then do the same thing there too. I think that will make it look nicer. Because it does look weird right now, and if I just stick it out just by just, just a couple blocks, I think I'll solve all the problems I need. In the meantime, got to go harvest some food, and I got another episode project I want to work on very, 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 very soon. And I can't tell you what it is, but it's coming from a video. I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. Thanksgiving is next week. I've already got myself super busy for the weekend, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys? See you next time. Bye-bye! Okay, it's daylight now, but I just want to show you that the system is working like it's supposed to. I got this so far working like I wanted it to, and this is actually excellent. So I'm going to have to turn that off again. If I can get in there to get that shut off again. 
There we go. And this is amazing. I can't believe I'm making this work with the pizza stand. That is just... Oh no, I broke the repeater. No, come back repeater. 